Hey there guys, I'm AJ Valentine, and lately I've been asked quite a lot how to install the mods for Payday the Heist and Payday 2. So I'm going to run a quick tutorial on how to install and uninstall the mods. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to get the uh, Payday mod tool um, and the mods you wish to install. Uh, the mod tool can be found here, it's uh, Zab65's uh, repo, um, basically. And you want the PD mod tool currently version 1.13. I'm not going to download that now. I'm working on the 1.14 beta. So uh, download that, and then find your mods. Uh, we create a bunch of mods, and we host them on our website www.lastbulletgaming.com. Uh, you can find them all there. See, we've got a series of guns here. I'm going to go with the Eagle Death Camo and the Oversaw. But I won't download them. Again, I've already got them on my computer. So, just to show you, go to link and it gives you a, a download. Don't worry about that for now. But yeah. Um, once you do have those, you go to, um, you, you'll receive a zip with the Payday mod tool uh, inside. What you want to do is unzip the, the whole thing and you get a folder that looks kind of like this. Uh, you can run then run the paid a uh, bundle mod patcher and you'll get a screen that looks kind of like this, just a warning to say it's first time use etc. Um, from there you'll get a game assets folder sort of field and you can fill that in with your game assets folder. It's basically where the mods are going to be installed. Um, mine is on my D drive but yours mo will most likely be C. So we'll go D drive Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Payday 2, and then Assets. You highlight Assets and click OK. It will give me a, a little warning. Again, don't worry about that. Um, you will then want to go to Apply Mod, Open, and find the mod you wish to use. As you see, I've got my two mods there, and also an Uninstall mod. I'll show you how to use them later. So for now, we'll open the Eagle Death Camo and read the description because there's often hints there remember to take the rewrite all x bundles file box so that's this I tick that um, often you might get an error um, not an error it's not an error uh, basically it says determining bundles to back up around the bottom here um, if that's happened either you haven't ticked the um, the bundle box or maybe they didn't tell you to tick the bundle box, but you probably will need to anyway. Um, if if you have that problem, just X out of it, load it up again, and tick the box, see if it works. But for now, I'm going to run the mod, uh, run the the uh, install of the mod, and I will uh, fast forward to when the install is complete. Righto, now that that's done, uh, we'll install the Oversaw mod, and I will basically show you uh, about the backups, which is another method of uninstalling. Um, so I'll go over to my Assets folder, and you'll see there's a new folder called Assets Backups. This is all the backups of the game that, uh, basically, when you put a mod in, this, this will be created uh, in another directory so that if you need to revert back to a, a clean game you uh, you move those over. I'll, I'll show you about the uninstalls in a moment. Uh, the tool should be done, yep. So we'll launch a game and see if the mods worked. Righto, first of all, the Eagle Death Camo. And as you can see, there is a, a camo on the Eagle, so that's that's perfect. Now for the over 9000 saw. And there you go, Vegeta's beautiful face. I'm probably going to be sued for this, but uh, hey ho. If so, goodbye YouTube. Um, okay, so that's how to install. Uh, that's the easy part out of the way. 
to uninstall, you have several methods. Um, firstly, and easiest, if the cr mod creator is nice enough to create an uninstall package with it, all you've got to do is run that exactly the same as you ran the original mod. As you can see, remove to, uh, uh, remember to tick the box, I tick it, apply, and that's the uh, that's the what's it uninstaller working its magic. That's that done. I will go into the game. And with a little bit of luck, maybe a bit of magic, there's no more Vegeta. So the installer worked, and yet it did not touch my eagle. So it's still camoed. Righto. Uh, the next method, uh, which is more of a, a complete overwrite, is to take these asset bundles, asset located in asset backups, copy or cut, I'm going to cut them, uh, go into assets and paste, replace the files in this destination, boom, and they are all um, all replaced. So I'll launch the game again, and you will find that my eagle is now completely clean. Uh, this will, however, remove all mods in your game, so you you'll have to start from scratch. It's easier if uh, if the creator adds an uninstall package, but they might not. So you know, th there's the other option. The third option, which is really less prefer preferred, is to in your Steam library find Payday 2, click Properties. Go to local files and verify integrity of the game cache. This will um, seek out the the bundles that have been changed and download new ones. Basically, unfortunately, if you've got a slow internet like mine, it can take a long time to download, say, four gigabytes worth just for one mod. So this is kind of last resort if you really want to get rid of them. Can't see why you would. They're awesome, but hey ho. Uh, that is basically all about it. Gone from install to all the methods of uninstalling. Uh, I've been AJ Valentine and I hope this has helped.